All right, y'all. I'm in the car headed to go get Alex J from practice. It's
It's me, Ali DB, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is 8-8-2023. It is Lion Gates Portal Day, and your girl is super excited. Yes, I know, I have not posted on my channel in a few months. And let me just say, life has been lifing, and I cannot apologize for that because I have no control over that. And you know when life starts life in, you must take a moment to regroup, recharge, rethink, reset. And that is what your girl has been doing, trying to get my whole life together. And at this age, honey, you would think that you would not be trying to get your life together. But baby, it don't matter what age you are, life still be life in. And trying to kick your butt sometimes. But again, y'all, today is 8 8 2023. It is Lion Gates Portal Day. It is the perfect day for manifesting, and your girl is manifesting a positive, a more positive rest of 2023 and 2024 because we need it. 
don't know why I'm always getting random emails, but that joke is annoying. But I made me a cold cup of matcha. I don't like drinking hot matcha in the morning time, especially if I'm eating something hot. I made me a quick little bowl of cheese grits. I got my water trying to up my water intake so I did all that but yeah I decided I wanted to pick up the camera today I've been going back and forth it's a little bird out here I've been going back and forth about like if I wanted to start back vlogging or just leave the channel as like DIYs and entrepreneur type stuff but I think I just want to vlog like if you guys are really going to get to know me what better way to get to know me than me showing you aspects of my life like not just compartmentalizing myself or putting myself into a box like saying I only do thrifting or you know I'm not just a thrifter I'm a mom I'm an entrepreneur I'm a daughter I'm a sister I'm an aunt like I'm a grandma like um there's different aspects to me in my life and what better way for me to let you guys get to know who I am then put it on a blog so I hope you guys will like the new changes to the channel and stick around and share the channel with some friends with some communities also be sure to go over on Instagram and follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I got back on both of those I'm also on Facebook I mostly use my Facebook channel like or I'm not channel my Facebook page for like family I correspond with like my family on Facebook so Instagram TikTok YouTube is mostly for like social media stuff for me to post like business stuff um, that type of stuff motivational law of attraction manifestation entrepreneurial like house decor all that type of stuff that's where I do it on social media but Facebook is kind of really where I chit chat with family and like check messages from family but you guys can follow me over there hey we're family we're family we can pray together we can talk over there joke laugh all that type of stuff and we can do that right here when you smash the subscribe button so be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button get this video a thumbs up but today I think I'm just going to take you guys along with me I'm not doing much today uh, I do want to go hit up a couple of thrift stores and see if I can find some dishware and glasses um, for my new place. I don't want to go to like Target or anywhere like that right now because I just need a couple of little pieces like just for me and the kids. Once I start, you know, entertaining friends and family, that's when I'll go get nicer stuff and all that type of stuff. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna go do that. I do need to look for a couple of t-shirts because I don't really have any more t-shirts. I love graphic tees and it's about to be my favorite time of year, the fall. Fall, not only I love the fall because it's an amazing time of year. It's the leaves are changing, the temperatures crisp and clean. And, yeah, it's my birthday time of year. You get to celebrate Halloween, all that type of stuff. So I need to go find me some t-shirts because I don't have that many. I have to go pick up my daughter's birth certificate and also have to pick up Alex from practice after school. So not much to do today, but I decided I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Um, I think for dinner I'm gonna cook um, chili beans not from scratch because I don't feel like it and the only thing I feel like doing today is really just mantras journaling scripting staying in a positive headspace um, I actually do have a mantra for you guys today so I want you guys to repeat this mantra all week long y'all y'all gotta repeat it all week long okay the mantra goes like this I am sure success belongs with me 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 say it as many times as you need as many times as your aura and your 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 vibes feel like saying it and watch it now this y'all I'm gonna go ahead eat my grits drink my matcha 
finished my first, I think this is 16 ounces of water because I didn't fill it all the way up. So I'm gonna finish my first 16 ounces of water, drink my matcha, eat my grits, and then um, get ready to go to the thrift store. So see y'all when we're either in the car or at the store. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, we're here at Goodwill and just gonna run in and see. Did you first? Okay, dang. I was about to say, girl, you're not 21. You're not 21. She think just because she 18, 19, she can curse. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. But. We're about to run in and see what goodies they got. See y'all in a moment. What's the color of the wheat? Green? Green tags. Oh, because everybody's doing it now. Anyway, these, right, and they stretch, so. 
You look cute, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. ah! And then these are bigger, so the set is it's like hanging off your hip a little bit, so it's kind of like a low rise. You know? Mm-hmm. You like them? Yeah. If you give me these two, I won't ask for that nose. She, yes, yeah, she will. If you give me these two, pink, jet pink. I don't know who she thinks she fooling. I can buy her this whole store and she's still going to ask for something else. Oh. <laughs> okay, for real. For real. If you give me these two, I won't ask for nothing else. I promise. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> That's cute. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, no, you have to take them off. They don't really have no mason jars I like either. I don't play that. I carry my gun on me. I keep this four five on me, baby. It's not Christmas time. Oh, this bacon's really nice. It's dusty. That's why you clean it. I told Steve to get those the other day. But you literally have that shoe and black. Why do you want it in white? So that's a yes. That's a not a yes. It is a yes. No, it's not a yes. No, it is not a yes. And, and I ain't gonna ask for nothing else. If you get that, I won't ask for nothing else. I'm gonna add them to our car. <laughs> not you. 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 the camera up after we left um goodwill um we actually stopped at family dollar after that but i did not even pick the camera back up after then so we are back at our spot 
and I wanted to show with you guys what I got at Goodwill. Yeah, we're gonna share a little Goodwill haul, y'all. I have not been thrifting in forever, and I felt rusty. What is this texting me? Really? When your kids just text you out the blue because they want to be in your business. Little boy, that's my business. It's my business. It's my business. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what I got on Goodwill Haul. We only got three bags, y'all. So it'll be quick and easy. First off, I told y'all I was going to look for dinnerware and that is exactly what I found. Hansi, I found a four piece set. She wrapped it up in this shirt, honey. I found a four piece set right here. It has the four plates, four saucers, four cups, and it didn't have a price on it at first, so I went and spoke with the manager, and he put a price on there. It was $7.09. Got all these pieces for $7.09. And y'all, I love this shirt. The reason why I love this shirt is because I love this movie, okay? I love this movie for so many different reasons. Culturally, um, John Singleton, Mars Chestnut, me along. I love this movie. So I found this, I found this shirt, y'all. I found this Boys in the Hood shirt. Yes, y'all know I will be styling this shirt come this fall and someone already had the idea of what I was had what I was gonna do with it cut the back to wear with some boyfriend jeans and I got some Fila tennis shoes that I want to wear with these yes I still wear Fila and I don't care what nobody say I wear what the fuck I want to wear I wear what I like all right I like what I like all right let's move on let's grab this bag honey cuz this bag a little heavy. Um, let's see what else I got. Don't drop nothing. Again, I went to look for dinnerware and glasses. I didn't really score too well on glasses. But what I did find, y'all, I've been looking for these for a minute. I found some glasses with the letter D on the front. And if y'all did not know, my middle name is Dion, so I really don't let people call me by my first name, actually. Most people call me by my middle name, or they call me by my social media name, Ali DD. I really don't let people call me by my first name, so I got two of those. Wait, let's see how much they were. Um, 89 cent each. 89 cent each, so got two of those for 89 cent each. I love vases, y'all. I love vases because I like getting fresh flowers. Base. Base. It's base. It's base. Base. <laughs> As I was saying, I love vases, y'all, because I love collecting, like, or getting fresh flowers. So I found this pretty one. It reminded me of like a little honeycomb jar, like a tall, skinny honeycomb jar. Like you put honey in it, but I'm gonna use it for a vase to put fresh flowers in the bathroom. And it was 80, 89 cents. I hope this is not upside down to y'all, but it was 89 cents, so I got that. Let's move that to the side. What else did I, no, let's put that back in the bag because I don't want to break those. So let's put those back because I don't want to break those. My son already broke all my dishes and I don't have any glassware in, you know, dishes. So let's move that to the side. 
what else did we get um i found a very cute picture frame this is so cute i love this color green and i am actually thinking about doing a space in my new house this color but y'all gotta subscribe and stay tuned to find out which space i'm doing this color um this is the new blue for me but it was a uh, dollar nine 50 percent off a dollar nine because green tags were 50 percent off so got that uh what else did i get <laughs> Let's hold off on that one for a second because I can't find it. But I got um, this cute little bodysuit. I like the little crisscross in the top, like in the chest area. Uh, it is by the brand Derek Hart. Never really heard of them, but I like the color. Again, we're getting ready for fall getting into the fall colors I got that that was green so it was half off uh, got some boyfriend jeans in this white wash I like the bottom of it if you can see the bottom of the pants leg it's like kind of cuffed but flared I like that and I like the white wash on here it has pockets on the back and it was also green tag so I got those oh, got another cute little shirt that was half off it says guy is lit yes he is yes he is and Yahweh is lit totally lit and if you didn't know now you know alright <laughs> so I got this little shirt right here what else did I get Oh, this is my favorite shirt right here. Because yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because yes, ma'am. Because yes, ma'am. That's, that's what she do. That's what she do. And it was half off. So I got that. And it's like a crop top kind of. Well, it won't be crop top on me. Because I'm small boobs and small chested. So it won't be crop top on me. But it's supposed to be like a crop top kind of cut. Um... The little spoil brat picked up these, but I do like them because I like the way they are frayed on the bottom. And what brand is this? I don't even know what brand this is. I can't tell, but they cute. It's in like a denim white wash. I like these right here. So she did a good job on those. And y'all know she was in the store. If you get those for me, I won't ask for anything else. I won't ask for anything else. How about we get to Family Dollar and she asked for a snack? How about that? Whatever. But anyway, got another top. Has like a rose embroidery on the front. I like this little top. It was half off too. Yeah, y'all. I'll be scoring with the half off. I will stay in the thrift store all day long to find the deals, okay? To find the stuff that is half off. This is the only shirt that wasn't half off, though. That's the only shirt that wasn't half off. But I was going to snag that anyway because, again, like I said, I like the movie. And, and what else? Oh, I got Spoily this shirt right here. I actually like this shirt. I don't know. I might go in her closet and get this one. But it says, not all who wonder are lost. I like that. And I love that quote too. I'm, I'm seeing that quote all around social media. I actually love that quote because it's so true. Everybody who wonders is not lost. Some of us just like to be alone. <laughs> okay. okay. But anyhow, I got that. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, and these, y'all, these were so, so cute. And they were green as well. So they were half off. It was $1.09, so it was half off. Look at that. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love those. They're so cute and tchotchke. But they're going to be so aesthetically pleasing. So aesthetically pleasing on... My dining room table, well not dining room table, my kitchen island. 
They're gonna be so cute. I like those. They're so cute. So, so cute. Um, wait, one more bag from Goodwill, so it's not much. Um, got this cute little yellow top. It's kind of oversized. Because I do like oversized clothes. I don't like clothes that fit real tight on me. It says Marco Island, Florida. I like this shirt too. All bright. And then it can transition into fall as well. Like it's, it can transition into fall as well. Like the color can transition into fall. That's what I'm trying to say. Get my words right, y'all. Get my words right. And then I found this. Jordan shirt. It's a Nike shirt that says Jordan. See, it has Nike emblems on it. it. Says Jordan in the front. So I like this little shirt. It was only $3.24, which is not bad. Not bad. I like that little shirt. And then it was, yeah, a pair of jeans right here. It has like star embroideries and grips on the knees. I like those little black jeans. They have like a light kind of grayish wash right here on the thigh part. But I actually like those. Those were super cute. Those were $6.24. And then the last pair of jeans, again, another pair of boyfriend jeans. But this more is like a carpenter boyfriend jean. And I like the way the leg is like wide so you can wear them with boots. And this is Levi Stratus Relax Fit. Um, yeah, I think it is a men's jean because it says 30, 30, 34. So I think it is a men's jean. So ain't no men going to be wearing them though. Girls going to be wearing them because we take men's clothes anyway. We come up, we can come up for the snatch. But that is all that I got at... Goodwill. Um, Y'all saw we went into Five Below and I got me this very cute rug. I love this rug. It is super cute and it's so heavy actually. It is a 36 by 60 inch I think that's called Shindy rug. Shandai rug. Whatever. Um, it says this rug is made from repurposed fabric. Y'all look at the color. I love that. That's going to be so cute in the laundry room. I love this color because the laundry room is going to have like this taupey, beigey cream, kind of like a vanilla cream color. So it can, it can stay neutral and light and airy because the laundry room is definitely not that big. So that's all I got on the home. Got to spend some quality time with my baby. We did go pick up her birth certificate. I don't know if I put that clip in, but y'all probably saw it. And then at Family Dollar, we just had some restock on tissue. So I got some tissue from Family Dollar because we were out of tissue. And that's pretty much all I got on my haul. So I'm about to get ready to take the, the meat out for their chili beans for tonight, like unthawed, so I can get ready to cook because it's what, two o'clock now? What time is it? It's 2.21 now. So yeah, 2.21. So I'm about to go ahead and take this meat out, put all this stuff up that I got from thrift store, well, Goodwill, put all this stuff up, unthaw the meat for the chili beans, and then get ready to cook. I don't know if I'm going to pick the camera up for cooking, but I will definitely show y'all what it looks like after I get done, because I got to chop up onions and all that type of stuff, so I'll show y'all what it looks like when I get done, if I don't pick up the camera.
I'm in the car headed to go get Alex J from practice. It's 5.31. They usually get done about 6 o'clock, 6.15. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be 6 o'clock because it's starting to rain out here now. And I think I showed you guys a clip of like the cornbread. I put it on board, y'all. Let me tell y'all about electric stoves because I, I put the thing on broil and I walked away for like five minutes. Probably wasn't even five minutes. And the edges of the cornbread, their edges ever dark. Like, they ain't just regular dark. They like dark, dark. So, either way, I'm still gonna eat my cornbread. Cause if I don't eat my cornbread, it's gonna be consequences and repercussions. But I'm still gonna eat my cornbread, even though it's, it's dark around the edges. Pretty sure it's still gonna be good and I'm still going to eat. But either way, yeah, I'm just headed to go get Alex J. It's 5.32, I think. I need to stop by the store first. And I forgot to get sour cream and cheddar, like sharp cheddar cheese, because that's what I like on my chicken. That's one of the reasons why I can't go vegan, y'all, because for some reason, I can't, I, I find it hard. I'm not gonna say I can't because that's a negative word. And again, we're not speaking negative today because it's 8-8-2023. Slaying Gates Portal. We're not speaking negative today, but I find it hard to give up like cheese, yogurt. I've actually gotten better with ice cream though because I found the um, gelato in Sherbert, Sorbet, however y'all want to pronounce it. I can I can do those to give up ice cream, but it's like I tried that vegan cheese and unless somebody have a good recipe on vegan cheese to make it actually meltable, palatable, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just saying, I find it hard to give up cheese, but yeah, while I'm in the car, I'm going to take a few moments to like share something with y'all I shared it with a couple of my friends on yesterday um, and I'm glad I got it out of my system before midnight on yesterday I'm glad I got that out of my system because for the past couple of weeks I have been like in this blue funk about like cheering for other people like supporting other people and cheering for other people like don't get me wrong i'd be like totally happy and like proud to see other people do accomplishments and you know reach their goals and not goals out and stuff like that i'd be totally for that like i'm the biggest cheerleader of other people's accomplishments yeah i've been lately in this mood like when is it gonna be my turn and it made me think about like a, I'm not gonna say it's a scripture, but it made me think about a lesson that Pastor Tommy Clay used to do at North Avenue Church when I was little. And I used to remember, or I remember him saying, God puts you in waiting periods and waiting seasons. And it just made me remember that like, I'm celebrating and cheering for other people. I'm watching other people reach goals and accomplishments that I put on my vision board like two, three years ago and still haven't manifested yet. But I still have to realize that we all have to be in a waiting season. Like everybody has a season of success. Everybody has a slowdown moment and a pause season. You also have no season. So it's okay to feel that way but it's not okay to stay that way. Like you gotta just 
like kind of remember the good things that you have and one of my good friends said that to me like you got to count your blessings like you really got to count your blessings like count the small things and the small wins that you have and not focus so much on the things that you haven't accomplished as of yet but I said all that to say this since it is 8-8 you know 2023 and the Lions Gate portal is open for manifestation try your best to keep a positive mindset like for the rest of the year try your best to like just stay positively motivated and intentional about all your goals about all your desires and first and foremost take them to Yahweh like give them to God don't hold them once you write it once you script it once you journal it down don't hold them because it's only going to give you those feelings of you're watching everybody else succeed and you're not accomplishing the things that you're wanting on your goal list and you're not knocking the things out of the park that you said you wanted to knock out. But we all got to remember it's a waiting season and it's always God's will, not ours. Okay, we all got to walk in His will. Like, the best thing to do is actually pray that what you want and what you desire falls in alignment with his purpose and his plan for your life so just wanted to take a moment and encourage or motivate somebody because i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one that's feeling that way or feeling this way um so if you guys can learn something from me understand we all got a waiting period just continue to prep yourself and prepare for your successful season because again, when you get that successful season, it's going to be another level, another test, and another thing that you got to get through that you haven't experienced before. So, you know, just stay motivated. Set your intentions tonight, y'all. If you got your white candles, go ahead, light them up, and set clear intentions. Ask God if your will is in alignment with his will for your life. And let's get out here and manifest, y'all. I'm about to go get my baby. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day, an amazing week. And if you like this video and this vlog, y'all, be sure to give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, like, comment, do all that. Share this message with someone who you feel like needs that message. If you know it's for someone that you know and they need that message, don't be selfish. Don't be greedy. Share it. Sharing is caring. All right. Love you all. And there's nothing you can do about it. Mwah.